Hey guys, happy Friday. Um, I am just about to go get my hair done and I'm super excited. I always feel better after I do that. Um, I wanted to share with you guys a new technique and a new tool that I have learned that has really been helping me with anxiety and just overall mindset. So just a little bit about my background. I've struggled with anxiety and depression for most of my life. Um, the earliest time that I remember having anxiety, which I didn't know what it was, um, was when I was in fourth grade and actually getting sick before going to school because I was so, had so much anxiety about going to school because I got teased a lot and, um, it's just a horrible feeling and, um, you know, I've struggled with it off and on and it has been a process because, I hate feeling powerless and that's what anxiety makes me feel is feeling powerless like I'm completely out of control of the situation so um, I've done different things I've gone to therapy I've been um, on medication for it I've tried natural supplements but many times I have found when taking the supplements or the medication is just treating the symptom, not the cause. And really what the cause is, is the stories that I'm telling myself in my head that are false. And I've had, um, usually when I overcome my anxiety about a situation, the story that I was telling myself in my head doesn't even come true. So I really hate feeling this way and you know, I really, and also, what I've also learned in the past few years is really taking a look inside and understanding um, how anxiety affects my body. And um, if anyone's looked at my prof or my website, I share that I have hypothyroidism and I have an autoimmune disease. And I've actually got a couple, Raynaud's and interstitial cystitis. And um, the more I learn about these disorders, the more um, I realize that there's a connection between stress and our mindset and how, you know, this is manifesting in our bodies. So it's really something that I do not want to have in my life anymore. And I've tried many things to overcome it. So I just recently went to a class at my doctor's office. It's Desert Wellness Center in Tempe um, on EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. And I had heard about it before, but I kind of discounted it. I thought it was a little strange. But when I realized that it's based on acupuncture and acupressure points, I am like a huge believer in acupuncture. It's helped me a lot with my autoimmune diseases and um, getting through stress and through my hypothyroidism. So I'm like, okay, I need to give this a shot because my doctor, who I really respect, was running the class. And so what it is is it's basically a meditation that you're doing while you're tapping. I know it sounds crazy. You're tapping on different points of acupuncture points on your body. So it's, there has been a lot of research on it. There's, um, there's a movie that's been done on it called the tapping solution. And I don't know, maybe everybody knows about this, but I, that was something that I've never explored before now. So, um, what it does is it actually changes the way your brain waves are going and it changes your way of thinking and who, who doesn't benefit from positive affirmations. So the key is, is you think about the emotion that you're feeling, whatever is causing, like if you have anxiety, if you have depression, if you've got guilt, um, and you rate it from a scale of zero to 10. And usually when you're going to tap, it's probably pretty high up there on the scale. And um, you have a script that is, you can make, you can get scripts all over YouTube. And I think through that, um, the Tapping Solution website, I looked at it last night, but my doctor provided a few, but I think the really the key is, is to create a script that is specific to you and your situation. So you really acknowledge what's going on and then you keep tapping these points and then you give yourself positive affirmations at the end. And 
if anything, if it doesn't like miraculously cure your situation, for me, it takes me like from like an eight or a nine down to like a four or a five. And um, it's really been helpful for me. So I was super excited to learn another technique because I am bound and determined to be free of anxiety and depression um, in my life. And I also want to live a li the life that I dream of. And I have discovered that it's really like my mind that is holding me back. So I've done a lot of soul searching in the past, you know, few months because Oh, thank you, Julianne, for <laughs> encouraging me to share. You had a panic disorder your whole life. It comes and it goes. And I also can relate to that because I have had panic attacks. Um, and the first time I remember, well, I suppose it was a panic attack in fourth grade. But um, I remember having panic attacks in college when I first started just being so goddamn overwhelmed about everything that I was trying to do. I was trying to do well in college. I was rushing a sorority. I was on the dance team, um, <laughs> trying to fit in. It's just, it was super overwhelming. And I just remember I would feel the feeling of feeling choking and like I was, had something around my neck and it's super, <laughs> you said what, what WTF LOL. Yeah, it's, it's not fun. So, um, anyway, so as I've been, I will admit, you know, this huge change and changing, first of all, I did have to overcome a lot of anxiety and false beliefs to leave my corporate job and leave the security it provided. But I knew that I had to get over that fear to really go after the life I wanted. So yeah, I did it, but then I won't lie. I let those old fears and old stories take over and it like was crippling me but I knew that I did this for a reason so I really had to go back to what the reasons my why was and really refine what I'm trying to do so I've been doing the tapping I've been doing a lot of meditation and I've started a morning routine each morning to start my day off right and get my mindset right. So doing the tapping, doing the meditation, and um, and then reading a self, I've got several self-help books that I really like that are motivational and doing the exercises in them because that's the key. I've read them, but I haven't actually done the exercises. So in all this introspection, it has really come to, given me clarity and clarity is is I want to help others live a life worth living and help them overcome the false beliefs and stories that have been created in their head from their upbringing from interactions with people in the past and help them break through that part of it you know part of living a healthy lifestyle and living the life that you want it is nutrition and fitness I don't think anyone who who can't move well and who isn't putting good things in your body can say that um, you're living a great life but that's just like one small piece the major piece is is your mindset so I'm really going to be exploring that a lot when I'm in my posts um, and the things I'm sharing on social media and the programs I'm developing so I just want to share what was going on with me and um, I encourage everyone who has had issues with anxiety or anything that they like to overcome, if they want a better career, um, if they have issues with public speaking, um, to explore the tapping solution. <laughs> because it sounds weird, but it only takes a few minutes. And that's another thing. It only takes a few minutes. And isn't it worth changing the thing that is causing you pain and discomfort? giving it a shot for a few minutes a day. So um, I hope this encourages everyone to look into, okay, can I recommend Sam Harris's mindful meditation videos on YouTube? Okay, I definitely, you have to go to work. Um, but yes, I will take a look at those and I hope everyone else who can see these comments will take a look at them as well. Um, so have a great Friday. Um, 
I am excited for the weekend. It's my son's birthday celebration tomorrow, and then I'm going out to dinner with my career coach. She is in town because she's getting married, and I've never met her in person, but she has had such a profound effect on my life, and I can't wait to get to know her a little bit better. Um, take care, everyone.